Okay, so in the last video, I went over with you what my survival bag is when we're wheeling in case we break down in the mountains and we need to spend the night to kind of make things a little bit more doable. And I kind of hazed over a little bit these boxes as far as recovery gear and repair tools. So we'll show you a little bit what's going on with this. I've already unstrapped everything. No matter what, everything that's in the Jeep is strapped down because this heavy box if you flip a jeep upside down and this hits you in the back of the head it's not going to be a very good day so double ratchet straps on all of these everything in the back of your rig always needs to be secure we've all seen that video of somebody wheeling and coolers flying and shit falling out of the jeep and beach balls flying and everything so things have to be secure so the main box one i have a tarp in there obviously I like tarps more tarps okay so this box is everything i need for my jeep i have so it's more accessible this jeep has a drawer which is nice our lj that we use for overlanding over the orange jeep no drawer so this is always behind my seat so i can access my tool wrap you know my tool wrap i mean not a lot of stuff but this is a Carhartt bag. This is all my wrenches, all my normal stuff. You know, any little thing going to come loose. No major repairs, but this is my main tool wrap. You know, Torx, Allens, Metric, and SAE, because unfortunately with Jeep that we're running, when we're into TJs and LJs and whatever, they've decided to do a mix of Metric and SAE, which really sucks, but that's the way it is. So we have to carry more tools. So typically this is behind my seat in the other Jeep. This Jeep this is in my drawer, okay? So, we go in here. I do have, that I always carry, this is this uh, DeWalt. This is a battery jump starter. I keep it charged. I can jump my batteries. If I have to, I can charge a device off of it. I don't need a jack and solar panels and all this other stuff, you know, to act like I'm in the Hilton when I'm going camping, sorry. You know, so if you come over here and look inside here, Hong, you know, I have my bottle jack, things that get clamped up. This is a for the hijack. Guess what? Sometimes hijack, you know, as far as our big jacks, they don't work so good without this strap. You can get around wheels, you can do different things. What doesn't fit in the tool bit kit is a breaker bar. You have to have a breaker bar, some lubricant, seat clamp, brake fluid, gear lube, radiator stop leak, transmission fluid is universal, whether it's like uh, power steering, whatever, you can use this. Oil for the engine, if you happen to get upside down, unfortunately, you need to put oil in the engine. I keep premix antifreeze in here, um, inside this bag. Now guess what this is? This would be a flare gun inside of my kit. It's a bad day when you have to use this, but people overlook this all the time. Now, obviously in the middle of fire season, you're not gonna pop off a flare gun, but if there's somebody looking for you, you need to have a flare gun. And we have the jumper cables in this box. Okay, these bags right here, pretty important. These are more tools, okay? Everything I need on the trail, whether it's this, 36 millimeter to get an axle out, sockets, more sockets, forks, wrenches, another 36 millimeter. When you gotta use, use this bag, it's kind of like the flare gun. <laughs> it's another really bad day when you have to get in this. So that's why this stuff is in these buckets, you know, with things strapped over it, where I really no, never have to access these buckets in case things get bad. You know, this bag is things where upside down, easy way to go. Things get bad. Belt for the Jeep. Alternator stuff. I don't even know what's in this thing. There's a U-joint. Straps, more clamps, electrical connections. Uh, this is JB Weld. The biggest reason I carry JB Weld is a repair radiator, okay? Gorilla tape, 
tester, Teflon tape for hydraulics or brake lines if they come loose that you need. Um, it's kind of a mystery bag. Let's see what's in here. This is just hidden in my bag. Well, this needs to be in my survival. Oh, this, this goes in the blue bag, I'm sorry, but it's with me all the time. Okay. Water pills for water filtration. My bandana, sunscreen, lip balm, a towel. This goes back in my bag that I normally take. This isn't supposed to be in here. This goes in my survival bag. But, uh, you know, one thing it doesn't help is like in my other bag, I thought about, we always, we always have water on board but you don't need a water filter, but the ability to purify water with a bandana and water pills is key. But um, this is just kind of, you know, there's more things anybody could put in here. I had, uh, you know, my other deal, this is strapping, metal strapping. If I got to like do clamps, try to brace up a tie rod end or whatever, but you know, all your basic kind of repair stuff. Between your test light, belts it's amazing what you can do is you zip ties duct tape just miscellaneous stuff to try to macgyver stuff as much as you can on the trail okay so i mean i kind of keep this stuff separate in this bag it's all in here tape clamps and straps okay now i'm going to show you the other bag okay so wherever we go this bucket is in my jeep if we're base camped for two or three days and we're gonna go trail riding for the day, this bucket is in the Jeep. It doesn't matter. It's kind of like my emergency bag. This is something that I don't leave home without, okay? I mean, it adds up to a little bit of weight. But the other bucket, which I can add a few things to. But also, all right, more weight in the back of a Jeep, but it's not as fat as a redheaded stepchild. Okay? No redhead stepchild is. Okay, well, look at that. Can't get a good eighteen dollar bucket. Okay, so this bag. Okay, we have a bag. We have a bag. Well, guess what? I have a bucket with blocks of freaking wood in it. Okay. Well, anybody can guess what big blocks or wood are for in a Jeep if you have to truss up. A broken spring or suspension system or something to lip off the trail as well as there's always rat extra rat, rat ratchet straps in the jeep sorry you know rags for cleaning your hands more ropes uh this is for splitting wood lighter fluid stakes um inside of this little bag this are these are this is an extra battery for my chainsaw so if I got to cut more wood than I anticipated clearing the trail and stuff, I have an extra battery. This is more in my bag is more recovery gear. I have one of these already. You know, when I talked about ratchet straps, other than this strap, this bag has extra ratchet straps and heavy duty ratchet straps for doing axles. If you break things, because we know what, how useful they are inside the back of the Jeep over here in this one. I already, I already have one of these in the Jeep. So you're gonna ask me, so I have one of these and a fitting in the back of the Jeep. Why do I have a second one? Am I just OCD or what? No. These are rated at 6,400 pounds. I have a 9,500 pound winch. So if I have to do a block and tackle where I'm really stuck and double the winch and go up to 19,000 pounds, do you really think a 6,400 strap 6400 pound strap is adequate probably not it's going to be through my windshield so the biggest reason this is in here is i have if i have to go with a block and tackle which the block and tackle is down buried in, in this bag down here and you know i have an extra pulley to do everything with okay so over in this bag again probably ocd but you know what there's my block and tackle right there when you got you got to use this you're really stuck but you can't rely on one strap if you can do a block and tackle you know then you have to have a heavier duty tree strap i have a heavier duty one if i have to use it but this is key what the hell are you going to do if you're in a backcountry and you break your winch cable or rope 
you're pretty much screwed. And it happens, they break. But the other thing is what happens if it's 150 feet out to a tree? Well, this is gonna be able to double the length of my winch, having an extra synthetic strap in when we're out by ourselves, and possibly save a long walk out of the woods or a night in the woods. So, you know, just for an overview, you know, as far as having a recovery gear, the things you need to spend the night, the basics you need to repair a vehicle. Um, these are the things I've come up with that I'm comfortable with going in the woods and knowing that I can be self-sufficient.